Good morning, nurses. My name is Danielle, and I thank you for joining me for our quick refresher on Loprasa. For those unfamiliar with this medication, it is a beta anadrenic blocker and used in the treatment of heart failure in many patients. For these patients, heart failure is an overactivation of the sympathetic nervous system. This medication works by blocking the cardiac actions on the synth sympathetic nervous system, which slows the heart rate and lowers blood pressure. When taking this medication over time, it will help reduce the workload of the heart and help to re return it to its normal size, function, and shape. Before giving this medication, be sure to check that the patient's blood pressure is above 90 and their pulse rate is 60 or above. When you give this drug intravenously, make sure that you are monitoring these vital signs frequently. If you are giving this medication by mouth, be sure to inform the patient not to crush or chew the tablet if it is an extended release. This medication may cause dizziness especially in elderly patients. So if they need help getting up, we need to be available so that they do not fall and if they are also a high fall risk. We also need to educate, educate the patient that to not do anything that requires a high level of concentration until they know the full effect of this medication th that it has on them. Contraindications for this medication include patients with hypotension, a heart block over the first degree, cardiogenic shock, and bradycardia. This medication should be used with extreme caution in patients with chronic bronchitis or bronchospasms. Some patients may use over-the-counter herbals, and an herbal medication that is not to be used while taking this medication is hawthorn. Hawthorn is an herbal used for heart diseases and heart problems, and should not be taken while taking this. Other prescription medications should not be taken with this, which is digoxin, beta blockers, or other antihypertensives. This medication can be taken with food, but it needs to be noted in our patients with diabetes that this can increase the hypoglycemic effects and their blood glucose levels should be closely monitored. The patient needs to let the provider know if they feel their heart failure is getting worse, they have shortness of breath, and their pulse is below 60 or their heart rate or their blood pressure is below 90. You also need to let the provider know if they have signs of edema, weight gain, or are fatigued. I appreciate your time this morning and if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to find me and ask. Thanks.